Hi everyone, my name is Claire and I play the saxophone. Now this is the alto saxophone. And the alto saxophone, along with the rest of the saxophone family, is a woodwind instrument. What makes an instrument woodwind is because when you, would, to make a sound, you have to blow through what's, it, it's called the reed. And now, um, uh, clarinets, bass clarinets, bassoons, oboes, they all do that. Flute is the exception, but the reason that flute is a part of the woodwind family is because it has a lot of buttons, just like the saxophone, just like the bassoon, just like every other woodwind instrument. Now, the saxophone has 22 to 23 buttons, depending on um, what kind of saxophone you get. And what's really cool about the saxophone is that the alto sax is what you first get when you get into, um, when you first start learning how to play, because it's the easiest one to play. But if you make it a little bit bigger and a little bit longer, it can make a lower sound, and that's what's called the tenor saxophone. And the tenor saxophone is very, very famous in jazz. And when you make the tenor saxophone a little bit longer and a little bit um, um, bigger, that makes the berry sax. And the berry sax is the lowest saxophone in the, um, the lowest saxophone that we use in band. There, there are so many other lower saxophones, but the berry sax is the one that we use in band that's the lowest. And you can even go higher if you make the alto saxophone, excuse me, a little bit shorter, and you make. Um, a little bit smaller, that's when you get the soprano saxophone. The soprano saxophone sounds a lot like a clarinet, but it's not a clarinet. It's better than a clarinet. But anyway, the saxophone was made in, it's a very, very new instrument. It was made in the 1800s, which it was a long time ago, but a lot of other instruments were made thousands of years ago. So the saxophone is a baby. So uh, the guy who made the saxophone, his name is Adolf Sax, he used, uh, he made the saxophone so it could blend uh, with the rest of the ensemble. So the saxophone is supposed to sound like a percussion instrument. Um, it's supposed to sound like a brass instrument. It can even sound like a string instrument. And that's what's really cool about the saxophone is that it can be in place of a lot of instruments that um, an ensemble may not have. So I know that a saxophone can sound like a trumpet. I know that the saxophone can sound like an oboe. I know that the saxophone can sound like a percussion instrument because we can do percussive, we can do percussion with our instrument, which is really, really cool. And not a lot of instruments can do that. But um, yes, yeah, saxophone's very fun. It has a very interesting history. Um, you'll, you may notice that saxophone is also not in the orchestra, which is a whole nother can of worms, but we are strictly for concert band and jazz band. And that's fine, we love it. Saxophone is a very awesome instrument in um, concert bands and jazz bands. Now, let's move on to how to play the saxophone. To play the saxophone, like I said earlier, um, you need the reed and the reed is just a piece of wood that's been shaved down really really thin like you see that it's super super thin and that gap right there that you see that is the mouthpiece this black part is the mouthpiece and the mouthpiece inside is hollow so when you um, blow with the right embouchure the saxophone makes um, or the, the you blowing makes the reed vibrate and when it vibrates, it makes, it, it kind of echoes inside the hollow mouthpiece. And when it does that, it goes through this thing and down into the rest of the instrument. And this thing is called the gooseneck. And then this little black thing right here with the, with the gold screw, that's called the ligature. And that is what um, keeps the reed on and makes it not slip and slide off. Now, when you attach the gooseneck to the rest of the instrument, um, and you remember all those fun combinations of all those notes, you can play whatever note you want. Now, with a saxophone, it's also heavy, so you need to wear a neck strap. And that's a blessing, because a lot of uh, brass instruments, when you do marching band in high school, um, you don't get to wear a neck strap. So, very thankful for um, saxophone to be able to wear a neck strap, but some people don't wear a neck strap. But anyway, that is how you play the saxophone. It's very easy to get the hang of, but it's also very hard to master. Now, everyone knows the famous saxophone piece, Careless Whisper. Yes, it's, it's iconic. Everyone knows it. If you haven't listened to it, ask your parents. They're not going to know exactly what they're, you're talking about. But there's so many other things that you can play on saxophone. Saxophone's a very famous solo instrument, and it's really cool. And... Um, you can play lots of other things. So for, t for us today, I'm going to play be playing Over the Rainbow from The Wizard of Oz, which is a very, very old movie. Now, 
A lot of boys like to play the saxophone, which is super fine, but I am a girl and I play the saxophone. So if you look at this video and you see me and you wanna play the saxophone, you go right ahead. Anyone can play the saxophone. Anyone can play any instrument that they wanna play. If you see that a lot of girls are playing flutes, but you're a boy and you wanna play flute, go ahead, play flute. I am a girl who plays saxophone and I love it. I think it's so fun and I get along with everyone in my section. So if you're a girl and you see a lot of boys wanting to play the saxophone and you want to as well, you go right ahead. It's gonna be so fun. Thank you for letting me record this video for you. I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope you guys pick the saxophone.